Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria Rojas and welcome if you are new. So as you guys seen by the title of today's video, I am going to be decorating my dining room, which we are in right now. I'm decorating my shelves and I also made a fun small hot chocolate bar for my kids. So let's get straight into today's video. So I'm first going to start by adding this Norfolk garland. I just went ahead and added some twinkle lights that I got from Target this year. And I am just going to be hanging this kind of like over the arced part of the shelf. I honestly didn't really need to hang it with any command hooks or anything. I just kind of bent it to the shape and it stayed on perfectly, which I was very thankful for because I did not want to stick anything to these shelves. Now for the first shelf, I am adding this wooden nutcracker. I got this from Walmart. It came as a set of two. So one of them I will be adding to the top part of this shelf and then you will see me adding the other one later on in the video. Moving on to the second shelf, I am going to be adding this really pretty suede um, tree. I did get it from the Wonder Shop line this year from target and next to that you know i always have my little whiskey bottle set on display so i'm just keeping that one nice and simple now this beautiful little house i got last year from aldi i know it's like the randomest place but they always have a really beautiful decor these little ones i got from target last year they were only five dollars from the wonder shop collection and I am going to be adding my village to my shelves this year. So on this shelf, I am adding part of my village. And then across in my other arced shelf, I will be adding the rest of the village. I decided to do it here because the cabinet I did it on last year, I no longer have it where I had it. So I needed to find a spot for my village and I really liked it here. Now moving on to the next one, I am just going to be adding some books i've had for a while these are the magnolia books from the magnolia table and right next to that i wanted to add some green just because i am doing a lot of green all over my house so this little tree i got this year from the hearth and hand line and i just went ahead and set that next to my books now for the other side i am going to be adding these wooden bells if you remember these from my haul i got them this year from walmart from the my texas house collection and i'm just going to be placing them kind of on their side so you kind of get a look at the whole bell i really liked how it's carved on the bottom so i also wanted to show that and i'm just going to be layering that smaller one right next to it For the last shelf, I just kept it very simple with these really pretty fabric boxes I've had and they are from Target. Now we're going to move on to the other side. So same shelf, just right across and again the garland with the twinkle lights, keeping it kind of exactly the same. You guys will see a lot of the things are very similar just to kind of keep a balance throughout and Again, on the top shelf, I will be adding the other nutcracker. This one's a little drummer. It's so cute. So we're just going to keep it simple on top. So now on the other shelf, I am going to be layering this book I think it's the perfect green. It is the Magnolia Table Volume 3, I believe. And it's a perfect touch of green. Like I said, I am doing a lot of green throughout my house. So on top of that, I am going to be adding these really pretty ribbed glasses. I got these from Amazon um, over the summer, I believe. And it came as a set of four tall ones, which are these, and four smaller ones. And now I am going to be using this really pretty arrangement. So it did not come together. The vase I did get from the hearth and hand line for the for their fall collection and the stems um, came inside of another vase it was a lot skinnier so I just went ahead and added them into this one just to make it look a lot more fuller Now 
Now moving on underneath that, I am adding the other two houses that I got from Aldi. I love the size. They are so big, so it gives me different heights, um, different sizes in my little houses and um i'm just going to be adding these to the corners and something different i am doing on this side is adding my nativity set this one here i got years ago from cvs i know so random at a pharmacy but i love how neutral and beautiful it is and i store it every year and i'm always excited to bring it out and reuse it every single year So also on that shelf, I am adding these really pretty trees. If you guys remember these from one of my hauls, I did get them from Burlington. They were very affordable and they look like they're little wood trees. So I am just going to be adding those. And then I realized I still had one little small house from my village. This one was from a Target. So I just went ahead and set it down in the middle between the trees, just kind of moving everything around until I thought it looked perfect. Moving on to the bottom shelves, I am going to be adding my doble here. I did add some really pretty ornaments, again, kind of keeping it the same on both sides. These are glass, though. I did get them for Marshalls, and they are pretty large. As you guys can see, it only took four to fill up this bowl, and I am just going to be adding it to the center. And lastly, for the bottom shelf, just keeping it, again, simple and neutral with something I already had. These two vases are so beautiful. I got them from one of the Studio McGee collections, I think, at the beginning of this year. Okay, so my kids have been asking me for hot chocolate every single day. I'm not kidding. So this table here, I have it in between both my art shelves and I decided to decorate it but also make it functional and fun for the nights whenever we do have our hot chocolate. So as you guys can see, I added this white vase and I just tied a brown ribbon just like I did in my entryway. I am obsessed with ribbon and bows. I think they're so pretty. And I added this tree that I got from the Studio McGee collection from Christmas last year. And the snowflake you guys probably remember from my haul. I got it from Target from the Thresholds line this year. And... In front of it, I am going to be adding this scented cookie jar. I love this so much. I got this one years ago from Hobby Lobby and it was discounted. So I think it was like $12 if I'm not mistaken. And you can open it and add some cookies in there. I use it just for decor purposes only. Um... And in front of that, I am going to be adding this little tree. I got it last year from Target for only $10. And that's going to complete this side. So moving on to the other side of the table, I had this tray. I got it during um, the summertime um, from the Hearth and Handline at Target. And I just went ahead and set it down. So inside of it is where I will be adding all of the fun stuff for our hot chocolate. So right next to that though, I did add my mug tree and I added um, these mugs. Everything is from Target. I did want to add white Santa mugs, but I couldn't find anything that was budget friendly. So I might DIY some regular Santa mugs and I'll probably just update it in another video. But in the tree, I did add my coffee syrups. I think these are fun and it's functional for both hot chocolate and coffee since that's what I drink and my boys drink hot chocolate and in front of those cute little syrup bottles I added some gold spoons and now these jars here I've had so all of this I've already had these jars I got years ago from Amazon and they've been in my pantry so I am first going to fill up the first one with hot chocolate powder we love the abuelita hot chocolate to let me know what hot chocolate you guys drink but my kids love this one and i started putting everything in the drawers in front of the camera thinking i wasn't gonna make a mess but you guys will see that i do end up making a little mess so i'll just go ahead and wipe that down once i'm done 
This one I already had full of sugar inside of my pantry so that was perfect. I just went ahead and displayed it next to the hot chocolate. And then this next one, I found these really pretty marshmallows. They are perfect because they are green little Christmas trees, perfect with the theme that I am going for. And then I also got some mini marshmallows. My kids love these for their hot chocolate. In the next one, I am adding some crushed candy canes. For the last one, I am adding some mini candy canes. I think they're so cute to hang on the little mugs. And this little tree is just a matching tree I put on the other side. I got them from Target last year. To finish off this area, I just added some really pretty golden spoons um, as little scoops. These are actually measuring spoons that I got from Target a while back. And um, I don't have fancy little wooden scoops i wish i did but i didn't want to spend the money so i just went ahead and added these gold spoons they serve the same purpose and i think they look so pretty For this small one, I quickly realized it wasn't going to fit, so I just left it open for the sake of the video, but I normally just set it right next to it down on the white tray when we are not using it. So that is it for this really simple hot chocolate bar and now I'm just going to be showing you guys a close up of everything and how it looks all nice and decorated. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys found tons of inspiration if you are still decorating for Christmas. I know I hadn't been posting in the last two weeks, but I am going to be posting. I do have videos ready to be posted. So I'm excited for you guys to see them and excited to see how I decorated for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for your likes, your very sweet comments, and please subscribe down below. With that being said, I will see you in my next video.